Thursday, December 13th, 8 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at a meteor shower that's peaking tonight and tomorrow night. I'm going to show you guys when and where to look. But first, I want to talk about this comet that I got a picture of last night from out here in Arizona. Story here from KTAR.com says Arizonans can see year's brightest comet, 46P Wharton, in this week. It's dated yesterday, December 12th. And yesterday, I was able to go out and get some photographs of this comet. You'll need binoculars, a telescope, in order to see this thing really good. If you have a DSLR camera, you can put it on a tripod and get a long exposure. That's what I did last night. This comet is historic. It is going to be the closest pass of any known and recorded comet to date, coming just within 7.2 million miles of the Earth. But what's really interesting about this, it coincides directly with the peak of the Geminid meteor shower. Geminids come from 3200 Phaethion, which made its close approach to Earth last year in December. Most of us remember this passage as we followed it very closely. Well, now we're going through the tail of this object. And honestly, this object's more in the asteroid classification. A big asteroid, but an asteroid-type object more than a comet or a combination of both, but leaning more towards um, an asteroid. Anyway, it's creating the Geminid uh, meteor shower, which will be peaking tonight and tomorrow night with a green comet going through the meteors. So let's take a look at some of the pictures that I uh, got last night. Here's one of them, but let me show you where to look first. Go outside, look east if the skies are clear. If it's cloudy, there's no, no chance you'll see it. This is looking east at around 8.30 p.m. my time. And I got some pictures around 9 p.m. with a long exposure looking high in the eastern sky. Orion was lower on the horizon. I'm going to show you a picture I took of Orion. You go straight up from Orion to about the 1 o'clock position. Um, if you know where Hyades is and the Pleiades, it's kind of in between those two, high up in the eastern sky directly above Orion. Here's a map and uh, a photograph I took last night of the eastern sky. This is Orion. You don't see the comet in this photograph, but the comet is straight up here. Pleiades is up here to the left at around the 11 o'clock position. There's Pleiades over here on this map. Here's Orion. Here's Orion. Let me show you another map. Here's where to look. There's the Pleiades. This is above Orion, right up here, straight above. Straight above Betelgeuse, right in here. The comet, see how it triangulates between the Pleiades and, let's say, Aldebaran? That's this bright star right there in Taurus. If you triangulate at the 3 o'clock position between Pleiades and Aldebaran, right there, you'll see a little fuzzy spot that looks like a star that's the comet. It's green. And there again is Orion, directly above Orion. All right, now we're getting into the area of the comet. It's right in here, okay? Let me zoom in, show you real close. Right there it is. Doesn't have a real long tail because it's not real close to the sun right now. That's the comet right there, 46P. It's a historic comet. That's the location again. Look for that triangle in the sky with the bright star. That's Aldebaran. Look for Pleiades. Go down, and it's in between those two just to the right for now. It's going to be moving closer to the Pleiades. There's another look at the location, and there it is right there, right in that location that I just showed you. That was a little shorter exposure. The longer exposure, the more of the green light you're going to get, like that one right there. That's the historic comet, 46P Wirtanen. If you're standing in uh, North America, anywhere in North America, anywhere above the equator, looking to the east after dark, there's where you're going to look. This is on Google Earth, looking at the sky. There's the Pleiades, there's Aldebaran, this is Taurus. The comet's right over here right now, but it's going to make its way closer to the Pleiades. Now, here's what's interesting. This comet is making a historic pass by planet Earth. And during this historic pass, it's going to be going 
in the proximity of the Geminid meteor shower. As it's peaking, that's going to be pretty cool. So you'll have a chance to get some photographs of some Geminids and a comet kind of at the same time, maybe. Just depends on the outbursts of these things. The Geminids are usually pretty good. You're going to have peaks and valleys where there's going to be more, you know, and then there's going to be less, more or less. It's never, you know, totally consistent. They may say, oh, there's going to be, you know, 50 per hour. Well, those 50 could come in 10 minutes. The Geminids just go outside and look up, especially between the hours of 1 and 2 a.m. There's a good article here at American Meteor Society that talks about when and where to look and basically you just go out and look up high in the eastern sky. The comet's going to be up there too. You're going to see the comet with binoculars. The Geminids, you will not need binoculars. Those move slow. Uh, some are dull. Some are quite bright. Um, but for the most part, they should be steady tonight and tomorrow night. And they'll be visible all night long. That's pretty cool. So check out the comet if you get a chance. Some pictures um, are possible with a DSLR camera. Longer exposure, the more light you're going to pull in from the comet. And the less light pollution you have, um, the better off your photograph's going to come out. I deal with a little bit of light pollution out here and was still able to come up with a halfway decent, at least I found it, decent picture. I've seen better, but that's the best I could do with the light pollution and things that I had to work with. Enjoy, guys. A meteor shower peaking tonight and tomorrow night. Comet during the meteor shower. A historic comet coming closest to Earth than any other comet in history. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there, guys.